Hi, I'm Michael. I'm Nash. And we are back with a brand new game. This is a Nash and Michael creation. It is called 10 Factors. Now to play, you need a deck of regular playing cards and the full deck, you're not removing any cards, and a piece of paper and a pencil. Now we've got a whiteboard. Whiteboard is better, but if you don't have a whiteboard, paper, piece of paper and pencil will work perfectly well. Okay, now to start off, you need to generate two target numbers. So to do that, you're just going to turn over the top two cards. 10 fours are 40. Okay, and we keep the two cards up there as well because we need them for later reference. And now you can't have any picture cards. If you get a picture card, just put it to the bottom of the deck. Not another picture card. Now the queens, by the way, are zeros. Okay. Okay, and then one ten is ten. Okay, so these are our target numbers. Now the next step for the game is each player is dealt five cards. Okay, now Nash, do you want to go first or second? Um, second. Okay, okay, so I'll go first. Now on each turn, you're following two steps. The first step is you always start by picking up a card from the middle, so your hand increases. And then you are performing an action. Now the main action you're probably going to be taking is trying to find factors of these numbers. Now, if you have a, a card that is a factor of those numbers, you can play that card in front of you, and that's the equivalent of scoring a point. Now, I do have that, so I'm going to do that. So I'm going to say 2, as in 2 is a factor of 40, and so that's like a point for me. The game is called 10 Factors. The aim is to get, be the first person to have 10 factors in front of you. Okay, so I've had my turn, so now Nash, it's over to you. So Nash picks up. Yeah. Okay, so eight goes into 40, so that's a point for you. Okay, now it's my turn again. Now, so I start by picking up. Okay, now in this scenario, I can actually play a pair of factors. So five eights equal 40. So because five eights are a pair of factors that equal 40, I can play two cards on that turn. So I'm now up three to one against Nash. Okay, Nash, your turn again. Two into 40. Two. Okay, so my turn again. So I pick up as my first step. Okay, now, as I said, queens are zeros. Um, the other thing you need to know is what do jacks do and what do kings do? So a jack allows you to, to steal a factor from another player, okay? So I'm going to use my jack. Now, it doesn't really matter what I steal. I'm going to steal the two off Nash. So jacks... Okay. Ah, okay, so hold on, Nash. So jacks allow us to steal a card, and the king's is a is like a blocking card. Yeah. So if you play a king, that stops whatever the other person's going to do. Now, Nash, the other thing, so you get to keep that. Now, the other thing you could have done, Nash, is you could have played that king before to block me playing the five times eight, yeah? I didn't have it. So. Ah, so you picked it up after. Okay, all right. So, so the jacks are stealing, kings block the opponent's move. And queens are zero. So that means my turn's over. Nash, you blocked me. All right, over to you, Nash. I've got to play, I've got, I've got to play the eight, sir. On eight's a factor of what, Nash? 40. For eight's a factor of 40. Beautiful. Okay, my turn. Pick up. Okay, and so I am going to play a one. One is a factor of 40. So I'm going to play that. All right, Nash, your turn. Two times 20, yeah. Okay, so hold on, let's put this in there. So two times 20 equals what, Nash? 40, yeah. Okay, so this is the other important rule that needs to be highlighted. So as well as being able to play a pair of factors, you can combine these to make two-digit numbers. So two times 20 
that is a pair of factors that will equal 40. So now Nash has got one, two, three, four, five factors. That doesn't count as two separate points. He's got five points to four points. Okay, now over to me, it's my turn. Now I'm gonna do something just to illustrate another rule of the game. So I've picked up first. Now I do have cards I could play, but just to show you something, the other action you can take besides playing factor cards is you can change the target numbers. Now there's two ways you can change the target numbers. One way you can change it is by reorganizing the cards in the middle. So if I wanted to, I could say, oh, I'm gonna make this 100 and I'm gonna make this four. So then we would cross these out and we would change the target to 104. Now, if you know that on your next turn that's gonna be helpful for you, that might be a good move for you to do. The other thing that you can do is you can say, I'm gonna change the target numbers, pick up another card, and now you use this card to swap with one of these other cards. Okay, so you can't rearrange now, but you can do a direct swap. So again, you have to consider what's gonna be helpful for you on your next turn. Once you've picked up that extra card, you're now locked into doing this move. You can't say, oh, well, I don't like the nine. So Nash, I am going to do four nines. So now this goes in the discard pile. So four nines, double nines, 18, double 18 is 36. So yeah. our target numbers now become 10 and 36. Now, because I used my turn to do that, I don't get to play any other factor cards on this turn. Nashi, back to you. Okay, so we finished. Uh, our, I mean, my final move was I got to play a pair, four nines, the 36, and then um, that put me ahead of Nash. My final one went down to six. I got to 10 factors first. I'm the winner. It's a pretty quick game. It doesn't take long to play. Um, so that's 10 factors, deck of cards, paper and pencil. We hope you enjoy, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.